I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. When my cars went up in flames, I lost most of my tools. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them? What would you have me do? Watch my back while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. Connor. I have the tools you requested. Ah, excellent. I'll get right to work. Norris has been hanging around pestering me about his knife. <laughs> I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. I imagine they are. I'll have to face them sometime or another. Day, Connor. I left some bolts of fine silk in my old home. They are very valuable, but I don't think it wise I return there. Someone might wind up dead. I was hoping you could retrieve them for me if you had time. Honor. Good to see you. Been trying to avoid eye contact with my old neighbors. So far, so good. Not so worried now you're here. How are you doing otherwise? Oh, all right, I suppose. Things never really go as planned. But that's life. Really? How do you mean? You know, you make a plan, and it all goes awry, and nothing gets better, only slightly different. Sounds like you have had a string of misfortune. It will pass. What are you doing here? Sweeping my steps, if it please you. Since when are these your steps? Since I bought them three weeks ago. From who? The owner, via his apprentice. Owner shipped off out of town, what's it to you? I am the owner? Not anymore, mate. Sorry. Better sort things out with your apprentice. He's often at the pub over there, but I'm sure you already knew that. Patrick.
Lance! Patrick! What gave you the right to sell my shop? Well, you were run out of town. I thought you'd never come back, so I sold it all. The shop, the tools. It's rough luck. Anyway, it's been great chatting, but I must be off. Have a nice life. What rot! Tools are a woodworker's lifeblood! He'd never sell them! I bet he's got them stashed somewhere! Then we follow him. out. Well, that's something at least. Thank you. I still can't believe he sold my shop. I'll see you back at the homestead.
Not you! I found your bolts. Wonderful! I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Your husband was there, speaking ill of you. He ran off when he saw me. Oh my. That dirty, rotten bastard of a man would do something like that. At least you were able to come away with the only thing of value that remained there. Thank you, Connor. You will like it. Gunner? Horus, what are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam her knife. Maybe you come with me? Of course. What is keeping you? I am nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. What am I doing? Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. This is something she will appreciate and use. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay and chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week, and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. 
Would you? I'd be much obliged. I, uh, I bring something for you. Maybe uh, it will help? I really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Until then... Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin. If I hadn't had this blade, that lickspittle might have gutted me. A timely gift from Norris, it would seem. Indeed. I must make sure to thank him properly. Connor! 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 Ellen Stullard of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates. We're on our way to stop it! I'll gut you! I am sick of waiting! If you come near her, I'll tear you apart! Yeah, get out here! I'll gut you! Hello? You are incapable of caring for my sweet girl! Just leave us, fruit! 
I am sick of waiting! If you come near her, I'll take you to the heart! Ellen and Maria are free of you. I say so. The people behind me say so. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. Thank you. All of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. This is my home now. I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise. My friend! Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! Marion? We are getting married! <laughs> I told you not to touch him, Norris. Is it true? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course, what would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. Norris is a stickler when it comes to tradition. Miriam knows not where her father is, and they were hopeful that you might act his part at the ceremony. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony and give her to Norris as her father would. I would be honored. Wonderful. On to other business. Our weddings are complex beasts and require many hands working together to execute. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food, Ellen to make them appropriate clothes, Big Dave to smith wedding bands, me to conduct the service, and Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. We'll start here. 